So we're here in Mackay Gorge. We're talking to Ben about the South Island Farm of the Year. He's a chairperson. How's it all going, Ben? Oh, uh, yeah, it's good, thanks. Scott, we're just um, in the process of finalising the entrance for this year's competition. So it's pretty exciting when we get to see who the names and who's put their hands up for that. Um, entries close the end of um, July. Uh, and then we, the, the next thing we line up for is, uh, is the judging for those guys. And um, in the finals night in, um, in November the 18th at Lincoln, which is, which is always a great night. Um, yeah, yeah. Always hear their stories and things. Mm. Have you had quite a few good uh, people come through so far? Uh, well, entries close the end of the month, so we're not quite sure, but we've, we've, um, we've had uh, Fiona Hancock does a lot of the um, entries for us, and she's had some good conversations with some good people who put their, put their hands up and say they're going to enter, so, so we'll, we'll wait and we'll see them yeah. um, when they turn up. And, and is there a sort of particular way of judging them, or is it sort of very varied? Uh, so the judging for the competition is um, it's based on some, I guess, business criteria with an emphasis on excellence and innovation and that's transferable across all primary industries really so we can have um, people in aquaculture or horticulture or agriculture um, enter the competition we can judge them on the similar, similar criteria. Mm. So um, I hear there's a pretty good award at the end of it for the, for the winners. So the whole purpose of the competition is to try and advance agriculture in New Zealand and, and the winner gets to to, to travel and this twenty thousand dollar prize and they get to travel but from what we can see that's a really small part of the competition the awards they get out of it um, they, they get a really good look at their business um, there's two lots of judging from from some quite um, smart judges uh, they'll provide some feedback on their properties uh, and then they they get to clarify what they're doing and present that to to the community uh, at the finals night and then they get to go and travel and, and, and research something that they're interested in that's relevant to their business. Yeah, so it's quite a, there's a whole range of awards, but it's I think that's from what we can see that's a small part of it. And in the finals night, what sort of happens there? Is it just a, a celebration of everyone who's sort of entered and stuff like that? The thing I really like about the finals night is it tells the stories of of the finalists, and um, generally the stories are amazing. You've got these you know four or five families that have built up an enormous amount of capital in agriculture in their lifetimes and, and they've done that through uh, a lot of its perspiration, um, you know, taking some risk, innovation and, and being bold with what they do and, and those stories are they, they're always inspirational and there's always something you can learn from each finalist. Um, it's a really exciting night so um, how that night works is that the, each of the finalists presents their story for about 15 minutes and um, and then they judge on that presentation and then we will present the one and there'll be a dinner and, and we're looking at having a panel discussion on agriculture as well uh, included in that night and it's all going to be in the same venue for, at Lincoln and we'll, we'll make it quite a smart event this year.